Hi everybody, uh, thank you very much for joining me. My name is Connie Ray and welcome to stampityourself.com. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be this beautiful wedding card that I've made. I have a wedding on Saturday and I needed to make a wedding card for somebody. Well, for the bride and the groom, obviously, not just somebody. Um, and I was kind of trying to find some inspiration because I hadn't filmed for a while. I thought, hmm, really want to keep my subscribers happy. So um, I came up with this. And what I did for inspiration is I went back to the original inv invitation that was sent to us. And I basically looked at how their invitation was. And I thought it was quite beautiful. It was um, whisper white. And obviously it was embossed with um, silver. And I thought to myself, hmm. I'm going to emboss my card and I'm going to do it in silver. I'm going to use Whisper White and I'm going to match the theme that they've sent it because obviously they liked it enough to use it as an invite. So um, yeah, that's how this card came about. And it is beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love it. I use um, products out of the new annual catalogue and I'll tell you exactly what they are. Um, the uh, inside of the card first, I'll just show you, I have forever begins today is the stamp that I've used for the sentiment inside I haven't embossed it that's entirely optional you could maybe not I'm not sure it's entirely optional um, what I've done with that is I have used um, oh I've used the sweet sayings which is on page 104 of the new catalog and it's this stamp here sorry I have got um, Oh, I should probably zoom in a bit closer for you. There you go. This one here is what I've used for the inside sentiment only. So I've used that. Now the other thing that I've done is in terms of the design, I have used the brand new and I'm very excited because it is such a lovely stamp set. So many endless possibilities. Okay, this was a bundle. The bundle for me was worth it. Um, it's on page 49 of the catalogue, the new annual catalogue. It's the flourish, flourishing phrases um, and it's item number 142323. It comes as a bundle or you can get it separately but cost effective it's easy and much cheaper to get the bundle because you get a 10% off. I think it's 10% off yeah something like that. It comes with two sets. How cool is that? You've got this gorgeous florally set here which you can see I've just I'm using this stamp here you've got this lovely accent um, flower here and you've got some sentiments here and then you've got other sentiments here as well so you've got quite a lot going on with um, this bundle plus with it you get this gorgeous um, where have I done oh here we are plus you get these gorgeous thinlets um, including this border that I've used which I've used to create here um, and this that's the little border there. I don't know if you can, I'll bring it up close, which is that one. And it comes out, sorry, my phone's going off and it's very distracting. And I've actually, oh, hang on, let me show you the original of what it looks like. Okay, so it actually comes out like this. Isn't that cute? It's such a cute little flourish border. So what I've done, I'll show you how I've done the borders on that in a second. Anyway, basically with the finlets, these come with the bundle, which is all of these here. Now, as you can see, this is something that popped into my mind today, and as I was doing this card, I found this, this here, sorry, this little flower here, these thinlets, that thinlet, that thinlet, and that thinlet will actually make that flower pop. So use that one first, that one second, and that one third, and I think that one on top of it again, and it's just, it makes that flower just stand right out so that's going to be a gorgeous little, um, gorgeous little piece on its own so I'm really looking forward to trying out that later but it's also got some other pieces too that aren't like there's no stamp for this one but it's a cute little blossomy looking one so I'm sort of interested in that one um, yeah it's just a gorgeous stamp set I'm so ha happy that I've got it because there's just so many possibilities and again sorry about the reflection guys um, I'm, as you know I'm not much of a techo I'm a stamper <laughs> Um, this is the flourish that actually matches up with that one so that's also very um, interesting let's put it that way okay so those um, dark, I'll put those thinlets aside but certainly if you're looking at something to play with it's going to give you a bit of a, um, an interesting um, dimension um, it's going to be those clear flourishes okay so on to the technicals of the card and I'll try to be as precise as I can but also as quick as I can but sometimes you know I get very involved in what I'm doing I'm just going to 
try and bring up that and get it into focus because sometimes my technical stuff doesn't work. I have done a couple of things beforehand. Um, sorry, my phone's beeping and it's really annoying me. Okay, um, now with the border on the bottom of this card, I have got the border stuck on there. But what I've done, and I'll show you exactly what I've done, I have taken two pieces using the using the thinlet border I've done two strips I think that's the right wording and I have glued them together on top of each other I did this using my stylus and I used Tombow glue because Tombow glue is easy to apply and basically with the stylus I put a little bit of glue on the edge and I ran around the circles but not a lot but just enough to adhere it to each other so it's a nice thick thicker kind of border you've got two pieces on it so it's a nice thick border rather than one one just seemed a little bit thin in this instance so I just thought hmm I'm going to stick those together and I did and that's basically how I um came up with my border but you, you've got to be careful with the glue it's very difficult to glue these down um, without getting glue everywhere so just be mindful of the glue could spread you don't want the glue to spread and just put it on with a stylus and just go round very lightly you don't need a lot of glue especially the Tombow it's quite adhere, um, adhesive um, what I've also done is then on the um, I think it's a, a piece of a piece of cardstock for the backing of it which is Whisper White. The project actually is in Whisper White and it's in the Whisper White cardstock, which is a 270 GSM, which is really thick. It's item number 140490. I wouldn't use anything less for a wedding card. Actually, I don't think I'd use anything less for any card now with the Whisper White. It's so lovely and thick. Anyway, um, it's five inches in length and it's an inch in width which is basically the same as this so i just got a little piece of cardstock and popped it onto the back of these two glued items so basically you end up with a strip like that and it's got this lovely embossed sort of looking feel about it but it's not actually embossed it can still you know act as an accent um yeah i loved it it turned out really good anyway that's basically what I have done for this card and of course I've done the stamping and the embossing okay so moving on for the card I'm going to do some stamping which is my favorite part um, okay I'm just looking now for my here we go looking now for my cardstock okay now first thing first you do need to use your embossing body use it on the side that it's got no marks this is a wedding card but it should be your principle for any card I think um, if you are embossing because embossing you know if it doesn't work it doesn't look right especially with silver when you're using lots of colors it's different but especially with this but anyway yeah it's all good all right so we use our embossing buddy now I am going to do I think I'll do the flowers first because this is not my this is the second take <laughs> all right so what I'll do is I will stamp my flower first I'll just back out of the camera a bit so you can see what I'm doing and I've used Versamark make sure your stamp <clears throat> sorry guys make sure your stamp is juicy so that your embossing powder which is the silver one your silver embossing powder is going to grab the stamp you want it to be able to grab the image with all the fine powder without leaving any gaps on anything so you want it to be nice and juicy so don't be afraid to make it really juicy just don't rock your stamp when you put it on to the cardstock so we'll do this one first because this is the biggest one nice and juicy I think that's okay probably a bit excess but it's, you know, that's just all good okay and basically I lined it up on the corner of the cardstock which is the front of my card and I've just placed it straight up and down and just applied pressure like such no rocking <laughs> plenty of pressure no rocking okay that looks pretty good and there's a little bit there that I don't like but anyway 
that's all right you get the gist of it and then on this side we're going to just do a little bit of the edge around the actual stamp just so that it comes on the side as this one but as I've done in this one here so we're just doing it on the side there so it comes up you've got the big flourish there and then you've got the side there so that's not bad so we're just doing a little bit on the side but we want to make sure that we've got it juicy again I think I'm going to run out of Ursamark today okay and I can see where I've been. You can't see where I've been, but I can see where I've been on my cardstock. So I can see where I want to place my next placement. And I want it to go there directly. So hopefully that'll work. They'll always look different. They never really look exactly the same. But there we go. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, you get the gist of it anyway. Have a play with it before you do the final the final bit. You must always do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my embossing powder onto my images, which is a silver one, just onto the flourishes now before it dries out. Not that sometimes you can leave it for a while, it's okay, sometimes you can't, but really, you know, if you're doing a one card, or a hundred actually at that fact, you want to make sure you've got it all worked out. Okay, so we'll just flick all the excess off. I'll just back out so you can see what I'm doing. Can you see the image? Doesn't it look gorgeous? If you want to do that in Smoky Slate, you could do that in Smoky Slate quite well. Is it, yeah, just even if you wanted a grey. But the embossing does make it look good. It just goes perfectly with this flourish, I really have to say. It's gorgeous, I love it can't wait to play with other things okay so I'm just using my stylus now and I tend to wear um I know it's a bit neurotic but I tend to wear magnifying glasses when I'm doing fine work because I know you know some people do some people don't but you know I'm a bit fussy when it comes to doing something okay that looks pretty good it's grabbed really well it's got a lot of um, embossing powder on the image which is what you want and I have taken off any parts that I don't so with my stylus and my brush just making sure that it's all grabbed nicely because then I now want to do the wording the, um, the sentiment just on the bottom and then I will emboss it It doesn't take long to do this card, you just need to do a little bit of preparation and I've tried to do that for you but there's some things that you know. But I think it's the style of the card, I think it's the most important. The rest of it you, you'll find your way with, to be honest. Okay, it's not hard, that's for sure. And it is so much fun, especially when it works. Alright, so again I'm just going to give my little embossing buddy because I have been touching it just down the bottom here where I want to put my sentiment. Now you need to bring in your border which is this one here that you've pre-done and you just need to pop it there you don't need to glue it just yet just need to sit it where you want it to be and just leave it there now ink up your sentiment which is the word congratulations <clears throat> hope everybody can hear me I've had this shocking flu and I just taken forever to get over it and I don't talk loud enough either so I do apologize I tend to mumble sorry for the mumbling Okay, so again, we don't want to overdo it, but we do want to make sure it's straight. So just put your hand on the border to make sure it stays straight. And then, which is a little bit tricky, fingers and thumbs everywhere. And I want my sentiment to be about there. Try not to rock it. Oh, nearly did. Just enough to grab some. No, that looks pretty good okay again I'm going to just put some embossing powder on it you don't want to upset your embossing powder before you emboss um, with the gum otherwise you're going to ruin your whole image you don't want to do that so I'm just putting some embossing powder on it on the word and you'll see it come up Ooh. Gosh, sorry, there you go. Oh, I can't see it very clearly, can you? Let me just see it up close. There we go. Congratulations. 
So that's the actual image. Now all coming together in the right location without too many errors, which is what we want. Okay, I will put the embossing powder away and we will then move on to the gun and embossing it. And after that, we'll just put it together and, and that is the easy part. So I hope you um, like this particular flourish the way that I do. I did find that it was stunning. I'm just going to get rid of all that yucky, yucky, yuckies. All right, I'm going to try and do this now. Um, so I'm thinking out loud and talking at the same time. And they don't always work for me, but anyway, I'm going to do the embossing now. Let's get that done. I was looking for my wall up there. It is. Now you're not going to be able to see this turn on camera, but um, it's one of my favourite parts, I've got to say, is when you do actually um, emboss and it turns and it goes from the powder to this gorgeous looking shiny embossed raised graphic and it's just so stunning. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Especially the flourish, it's just perfect. It just works so well with this flourish. All right, so just go over your little bit over here, give it a bit of a whirl, and that should be it. Okay, looking good. Phew, so far so good. Don't jinx myself, she says, thinking, yes, touch wood. Okay, sorry, I hate the feel of embossing powder. It's so gritty. Okay, now the last but not least things that we need to do. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Okay, where's my cards, which I've already done. Now my, my card sizing is basically as it always is. You've got the 11 and, on, let me just do this the right way so that you know what I'm talking about because there's always new people coming in and um, sometimes they don't understand what you mean. So Please don't be afraid to ask questions if you're not sure. Um, I'll have all the information on my blog. Um, and you can also go to the top of the uh, YouTube channel, Brett says Stamp It Yourself, and you can click on there and go straight to the store. Go to Shop Now. You can shop, purchase anything that I've used today and just check out. All done. Very easy. Okay, this is the Whisper White cardstock, and that is item... This is the extra thick one. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but it's extra thick. It's 270 GSM. So that works really well. Um, it's Whisper White and it's item number 140490. So I, we use that for wedding cards. Um, the clear mount um, flourish set in a bundle is item number 142, sorry, 142323. It's on page 49 of the new annual catalogue. And the Sweet Sayings is on page 104, but I will put this on my um, blog so that you can actually see it. Now, in this instance, I'm just going to go over the measurements of the card. So the cardstock is 11 in landscape by 4 and a quarter in width, and it's scored, which means is your fold there, at 5.5 inches, because Stampin' Up! does work in inches. Uh, most of the stuff you buy is in inches. You can get centimetre stuff, I believe, but most of it's inches, so I just work with inches. I'm old school, um, so I'm fine with it. But you can work it out. It's not hard. Um, this, um, this um, what do you call it, this paper pad, you get 100 sheets in this, and it's $20. On one side, it's in inches on the, the borders, and on one side, it's actually in centimetres. So if you're using centimetres, just flip it over and use it. If you're using um, inches, use your inches side. So it's pretty easy. It's $20, I think, for 100 of sheets of paper, um, graphite paper, whatever they call it. I can't remember what they call it. But, um, yeah, it's really quite good because you've got the two options. Anyway, going back to the card. So then your next mat is going to be, sorry, bear with me for a second, is um, five and a quarter uh, in length and four across and then the final piece of artwork that we did here on this piece here is five in landscape and it's three and three quarters across and that's going to be our top mat okay the little piece of paper here was five inches in 
length uh, in landscape and half an inch in width. And we're just going to pop this now onto here just to give it a little bit of a, a lift. So um, don't hesitate to pause the video and redo it once you get your um, little bits done. Because once you've done them, they're done. You know, when you're trying to upload a tutorial and people are pushed for time and they see one that goes for half an hour, they sort of really think, oh, God, I haven't got half an hour to spend to watch this. This is crazy. So, you know, um, but some things are just worth it, I have to say. There you go. So when you see this done yourself and you actually feel the texture of it, I think you're really going to like it because it's just perfect. It just gives it that little bit extra that you're looking for. Okay, so we'll get some dimensionals happening. Um, and then I will put on some. So I'm going to layer, always layering because it's, um, the dimension is always important. Like I've said, I don't know if I said it in this one or the, which take it was that I actually said it in. But um, I do sort of um, feel being a wedding card, you do want it to be um, special. It's not like a birthday card. You can always get it right the year after. <laughs> I suppose it just depends on how you view everything. I'm just trying to make sure this is all lined up properly. Okay, and then this bit. And I'm going to put one in the middle, I think, of that one, just to give it a bit more oomph. And four. So, yeah, I haven't been um, uploaded for a while. My son and I went on a holiday and we came home and my husband met us at the other end. And then we both ended up with this horrible virus and we got sick. And there were so many things going on and I thought, oh, I need to upload. I'm getting withdrawals from designing and um, coming up with some really beautiful cards. And I'm so glad that um, I purchased this set and I got back into it just because I had this wedding card to do. I've also got a couple of other um, interesting stuff to upload as well, but you'll see that when it comes. So there we go. Okay, things out of the way. So look, there you go. It's almost done. Now, I didn't put a bow on it because I don't believe that it needed to. I tried to put a bow on it and I just think it just looks a little bit like too much. So as you can see, it's really pretty. I think it's pretty anyway. All that work done. Very easy once you've done a hundred. No, you've got <laughs> you've got plenty of, of um, <laughs> that's really terrible when you say a hundred later. Okay, I'm going to put some diamantes on. Now, like I, I said, oh, sorry, not, um, what do you call them? Um, stamp, I'm not referred to them as rhinestones, I think. I did put the rhinestones in a few places um, because I felt that they deserved to highlight some of the um, flourishes just that little bit further just so you can bring a little bit of attention to it it's so cute so pretty and maybe one here you don't need a lot I don't think of course it's different to the other one but it, that being said it's fine so there you go it's all finished thank you very much for watching um, please do subscribe and please hit the like button um, if you hit the like button button it goes into your like liked um cards that you've watched and that way you can go back and you can find it really easily to re-watch and actually do the tutorial don't forget to hit the pause button when you're doing it if you're not sure about anything go back over the steps it's easy to do um, thank you for um joining me today sorry i've been away for a while but um, I've got a couple of other tutorials I'm looking forward to uploading. And I do hope you do this one. It was so nice to do. And it was so enjoyable because of the way that it came out. Um, you can use this for an engagement. You can use this for a birthday. You can use this for a wedding, da -da, um, for a wedding card, or even an invitation, I suppose. I'm not sure. Um, there's quite a few options you can use this for because of the way that the wording is. Um, but... If you use this flourish, it's just beautiful. It's just so much nicer in real life. Totally recommend it. Okay, hope to speak to you soon. Thanks for joining me. Take care and um, thank you for um, stopping by. Ciao for now.